Yabba dabba YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar once again coming at ya with another vlog. On today's vlog we are going to go to Nakpan Beach, uh, so I need to go and get myself a motorbike, come back to the hotel, grab our stuff and head off. So without any further ado, let's quickly Scooby Doo. So we're on our way to find a motorbike. Um, I think we just need to walk down this street over here. And just have a look, see what they've got. So let's go and do that. Oh. That's up there, further up. Alright guys, so we've picked up our bike. I'll show you it a little bit after. We just we're heartless stuff. We're gonna go and try and find something to eat and then we're gonna set off to Nakpan Beach. So we'll see you on the other side. I get this one. Vegetable fried rice and basket. Huh? Separate basket. You know which one? Yeah. Yeah. Can I get the pumpkin soup? Yeah. Small pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, chicken parmigiana. What comes with that? Just. Just only parmigiana. Just the parmigiana. Would you like side order? You can choose. Yeah, and some fries. Rapido before someone gets. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice here. See, more windy. Nice breeze. Huh? Nice breeze. Take two. Okay, so we're at the art cafe. We've transferred from inside to outside. So this is the view we have now. We've got a nice, beautiful breeze blowing. Right in the corner here. The smiley face. Right next to the cliff here. So we're gonna sit here, have our meal and then head off to Nakban Beach. Uh, take three. Alright, so we've moved from inside from over there, <laughs> over here, and now we're here. Right on the street here, where we can actually look down at the people passing by, enjoy the view. Nice palm tree here, and the beach is just there. You can see that. The water's just there. If this building wasn't here, we, this place would have the best view. So uh, we're here at the Art Cafe. So if you want to know where this Art Cafe is, if you follow this road around to there, that's where the, the port is. That's where your jetty port is, I believe. That's where you'll come off the ferries if you're coming from uh, Coron. Um, it's just going back that way. It's probably about 200 metres down from the main road. Situated right next to these limestone cliffs in beautiful El Nido.
até o lanche a Bia Café. Um, we asked if you're allowed to vape, and I said, yeah, you're allowed to vape, but you're not allowed to smoke. So, bad luck smokers, you can't smoke at this place. Um, so, we're just going to finish up our drinks. Uncle Jack again. Um, and we're going to head off back to our room, get ready and go to Nakplan Beach. So, we'll see you back at the room. Okay, so you can see on this video, a lot of these buildings have been chopped back. They were obviously too far out past the, uh, the easement line. You can see this building here. The one next to it, and most of the buildings along the beach here. I think Jare's grill was sticking out a bit further. That's been already modified and chopped back. But um, yeah, this is the main beach here in El Nido. Obviously, everyone's out on their tours. They don't come back till about 4, 4 p.m. There's the jetty port over there. That's where you catch the boat if you're going to Coron. have these magical limestone cliffs that overlook the beach the nice chemtrail that's just been left so all right let's get back to the hotel all right guys we're ready to roll we're on our way to Nakpan Beach we'll see you when we get there all right so we've just made the turn off the main road to the Nakpan Beach and as you can see it's still unpaved and it can get dangerous if you're not if you're not a confident rider you just want to make sure you concentrate try and look at the potholes try and look at the bigger rocks and if you're really unexperienced or inexperienced do not ride and hold the GoPro at the same time <laughs> time when they can save up some money they might pave this road all the way because last time we were here there was only like one hut that was selling um, drinks snacks and that but I think it's going to be a different scene when we arrive there because it's expanding more and more tourists are coming to this place and tourism is taking off so we'll see what happens when we get there so I'll put this away and we'll see you at the beach all right, so we have arrived at Nakpan Beach, and this is just packed. We can't get an umbrella anywhere. There's 300 people here, and they're all charging probably two or 300 pesos per lounge chair or an umbrella. We haven't found out yet because the guy said they're all booked out. So we're just trying to, trying to find out whether we can go further down there and get something, or whether we just want to sit here. Massive difference compared to two years ago. All right, we're going to try and see what we can do and get a get a spot. We'll walk down the other end here, see if there's anything available. Surely some of these people will be leaving soon, so we can grab a chair. So this place is expanding slowly and slowly. The amount of chairs here is 20 fold compared to a few years ago only. And I guess in another few years they'll extend further down to where that yacht is. And probably the whole length of the beach down to the other side. So the wife's trying to get the attention of the one of the guides here to see if we can get one of these lounge chairs. Just go up and talk to him. What are you yelling at him for? Just sit, just sit on one and he'll be there in five seconds. <laughs> So a beautiful beach here, we'll just see if we can get some chairs. Alright so success, we've got one of these little umbrellas but as you can see they're very low up to my, up to my chest. Alright that's... We've got one of these, yeah like I said, these one of these little two lounge recliners and a little bamboo umbrella. 
400 peso, I guess that's for the whole day. The guides normally sit over there in that little canopy. Um, took us a few minutes to get someone's attention, but trust me, just go and sit on one and they'll be there within five seconds. Um, so, yeah, there you have it, guys. Nakpan Beach, let's go for a swim. Alright, guys, let's go for a swim in Nakpan Beach. One of our favourite beaches here in El Nido. Even though the uh, island hopping is nice, it's fun, it's exciting. Nakpan Beach is just a different different experience it's just like a magical long wouldn't say white sand but it's a nice fresh clean sand pure sand no corals just beautiful sandy beach my wife gets excited when she sees waves <laughs> houses now that have been built up, so many businesses that have been established. <laughs> Big waves over the other side. The big building over there, I'm not sure what that is, that looks like a, a new resort possibly, but times are changing, the demand of the tourists is demand that the tourist is taking over people want more places to see people want my people want more places to stay at and what people want they normally get here in the Philippines especially the tourists the tourist industry drives this economy and it's just getting more and more more and more people are coming to the Philippines and if you've ever been here you'll understand why so I love the Philippines. I love the Philippines. I love El Nido. <laughs> Maybe you can hear my wife giggling and laughing in the background. She loves this place. Big, big one, big one. <laughs> ah. Stop drinking the water! <laughs> Stop talking when the wave's coming. Keep your mouth closed and you won't drink the water. <laughs> my wife has a habit of giggling and laughing with her mouth open just as the wave's coming through. So she needs to learn. Keep her mouth closed at the beach. Otherwise, <laughs> like that, you end up drinking lots of seawater. Let's take you underneath for a look. I don't have my snorkel or my mask, but that looks pretty clear. Hopefully, when I get to edit this later, you and me can see whether it's clear or not. Keep your keep your mouth closed. I prefer to stay out a little bit deeper where the waves aren't crashing over my head. But the wife, she loves to play in the... Oh, oi, oi. I spoke too soon. Here comes another one. <laughs> Couple of big ones there. <laughs> so 
So if anyone else has been to Nakpan Beach, leave a comment below what you love about it. The waves, the sand, the beach chairs, the umbrellas, the ever so expanding uh, business side of things. Maybe you don't like it. But there's another building over there that looks new. As we drove in, I noticed numerous new buildings, new stores. Um, it's just getting bigger and bigger. I did bring the drone and I will get her up later, take her for a flight, try and go all the way down the other side of that beach and maybe either go and give those islands a buzz and then come around from this side, do the whole length of the beach if weather permits. So. Stay tuned for that. Now I have discovered one issue with this GoPro Hero 5 and it's really starting to piss me off is when I'm in the water I'm not sure if it's the warm water that affects the touch screen on the back but it keeps changing my settings. GoPro, I am really off. The other day we went out on a speedboat tour and I had to, I thought I had some really nice footage and a few minutes later after I just checked to turn the, to turn the camera off I noticed that it switched itself somehow to, to a time-lapse mode so I ended up taking like 500 pictures when I really wanted video and I'm really pissed off. My Hero 4 is in, a, is in its own dive case can't change no settings without pushing buttons but this Hero 5 it seems to change settings just by the temperature of the water and I've actually and I've actually seen it I've seen it while I've turned the screen while we were underwater I was looking through it with my mask and I actually seen I looked I looked at the screen and that you could clearly see it's like someone was accessing different menus that was scrolling through was accessing it was changing the settings. Not happy. Not happy at all, GoPro. I don't understand why that, why that, and how that can happen. Sitting here having my rum and coke. This is eco friendly, guys. A coconut as your cup with a bamboo straw. No more plastic here. Um, Boraco has banned drinking on the beach, smoking on the beach. You're not allowed to smoke here on the beach, but I've seen a few people having a puff. But we're allowed to vape. It's good to see here that I've noticed since we've been here. Let me adjust the camera. One thing I have noticed here is that they do allow and they do appreciate people vaping. Some of the restaurants you're not allowed to smoke but you're allowed to vape. And that's the way it should be. Vaping isn't polluting anything. Um, it doesn't smell like a cigarette, it doesn't stink like a cigarette, and it doesn't pollute once you're finished with a cigarette. So, these things, it's just juice and batteries. That's all it is. No ash, no rubbish. I bring this with me, I take it home with me. Smokers, they come here, they smoke, they throw cigarette butts everywhere. What's going on there? 
couple of dogs punching on. Um, so yeah, vaping is the way of the future. We're just kicking back now, relaxing here. minutes to five. The sun's slowly going down. Hopefully we'll get a nice sunset from this, uh, from this angle. Uh, the hotel we're staying, we've got the limestone cliff blocking our view. Uh, I did say we might try and go around the other side of the beach to try and get you a better sunset if we can. A bit of a time lapse. We've still got five days left so plenty of time to do that. We've hired a motorbike four days, a um, bit pricey, um, we looked at some other motorbikes for your little scooter, most guys are charging around 500 peso um, and they're little shitty old scratched up, banged up, pricey uh, scooters, the one we got, it's only got like I think 8,000 kilometres, so it's reasonably new, very smooth, it's got some power for a little one, 115. 125. Um, so yeah, we got that for four days. We might have a bit of a cruise tonight, tomorrow, the next day, and the next day we might want to check out some of the waterfalls here. They do have a tour package, but we think we might want to do a bit of an adventure and check that out ourselves. So make sure that notification button's clicked, that will, otherwise you won't see it. There's still people turning up at Nakpan. Obviously you come here early during the day, you spend the full day out here. Uh, we had a few things to do, we woke up a bit late today. Uh, we always like to have a bit of a lazy morning, uh, unless we're doing the tour. We've got a tour organised for tomorrow and the day after and the day after. So a couple of tours coming up, it's going to be a hectic uh, week for us. But today we just thought we'd relax, kick back. Went out and had a bit of uh, a bit of a lunch at the uh, was it cafe was it Eltrove? I think it was cafe Eltrove. I'll double check that later. And uh, to be honest with you, the food wasn't cracked up to what it what it's uh, claimed to be. Um, I've seen lots of good reviews about that place, and to be honest with you, I think it's garbage. Um, I had uh, chicken snitchel, tasted like it was a, a week old. Um, the fries looked they'd been soaking in oil for about two or three days. Wasn't really deep fried properly. Uh, what did you have? Good. What did you have at the El Tro? Uh, no, uh, seafood basket. The seafood basket looked with, like it was uh, yeah, just full of oil. oil. Just wife probably rates that as good as she did the restaurant the other night um, at the Habibi. Uh, the prawns looked like they were in deep, deep battered, just dripping with oil. Fries the same as mine. Had some sort of fish cake in, in crumbs. Yeah, no good. Everyone's raving on about this place, and uh, to be honest with you, like I've said before, if I don't get a good meal the first time, I ain't coming back. So sorry, guys. Thumbs down for you guys. Plane. See if I can catch that. I think that looks like an Air Swift plane. That's the one we'll be catching when we leave back to Manila. So this is the car park. You can go that way. A little bit further down the beach. But uh, we just parked here because we've seen all the bikes here. So there's another one heading out that way. And that's the beach just up here. There's this little cottage, house, slash store. Um, yeah, it's, it's expanding, it's getting bigger and bigger. And 
in the next few years this could be the new Boracay. So let's get on our bicycle, our motorbike. No, that's not it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. The Yamaha 125 Mio. It's in very good condition. I think that's why these guys are charging 600 peso per day. You wouldn't even give me a discount for a multi-day hire, but that's like what ten ten dollars Australians, 400 peso. So it's about 15 dollars a day. To rent one of these in Australia, you're probably looking at maybe 50, 60 dollars a day, but in the Philippines, it's about 15, 20 dollars. All right, guys, let's get the old trusty thongs on, the slippers, get on the bike and skedaddle. Let's go back to the hotel. Okay guys, so we're back in our room. Um, a little disappointed here. Yesterday we asked to have our fridge restocked and they said, yes sir, yes sir, no worries, we'll get it done. And come home it hasn't been restocked for the second day so we just rang them up again and asked can we please have our fridge restocked I'm thirsty and I would love a cold can of coke hang on here comes my coke two seconds hey that was the guy that checked the fridge um, he's, he'll, he'll be back in a few seconds to restock the fridge and I asked him to put an extra three or four cans of coke so let's wait for him to bring that in. I'm gonna have my drink, then I'm gonna have a shower in this massive shower. Look, look at this shower cubicle. You can truly swing a cat in here. <laughs> As they say back home, that's the shower process. It's good clearance there for my head. It's coming through the ceiling, but the only downside to this sort of setup is when you're showering, everything gets splashed bathtub gets splashed, the toilet gets splashed, the sink gets splashed, you end up with water all over, all over this section of tiles. I mean there is a lip over there, if you can see that lip. Um, so no water will go that way, but it's just a bit of a pain. If you finish a shower, wife finishes the shower, then you need to go to the toilet, the toilet's wet, um, there I am, uh, the toilet's wet, all these tiles are wet, and it's, yeah, we've got a pair of flip-flops, pair of thongs there, just to wear once we get there, but it does dry out within a few hours, so I guess it's not too bad. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait for my coke, I need my coke, and I'm hoping it's cold. Better not bring a warm one, it takes like two hours for this fridge to cool it down, so, alright. I'll stop this right now and wait for my coke, have my shower, wait for the wife to have a shower, then we're off to have some dinner. So join us on that. Okay, we're ready guys. We're going to go out and get something to eat. Um, we're very hungry. Been a long day. Just come back from Nakpan Beach. We're tired. We're hungry. Let's go and get something to eat. So she's ordered her fish, now we wait. I've ordered her San Miguel, she got a coke. So let's wait and see how this food turns out. Hopefully it's as good as last time. We'll keep you posted. Okay, so there's the wife's grilled fish. She got the sizzling prawns, sizzling shrimp. She got the bolalo soup. She's happy with that, that's a big piece of beef. Looks like there's lots of marrow in that. Two extra rice, and I'm still waiting for my baby back ribs. A little bit slow. Here's my baby back ribs. Now I'm just waiting for my nachos. Almost complete here. We'll give you a honest review after we have completed our meals. So we'll catch you on the other side of this. We're nearly done here. Just waiting for the wife to finish up. Head off back to the hotel. So uh, we'll see you either on the bike or in the hotel room. Okay, so we're just buying a couple of souvenirs. Got a couple of singlets, single tops. Gotta get something. 
Where'd she go? She's hiding on me. Probably gone down the back somewhere. Deep down the back. Oh, well, there she is. Alright, we'll just finish up here, buying a couple of little souvenirs, and then we're back on the bike and back to the hotel. See you soon. Alright guys, we're back at the hotel now. Um, we've had our meal. Uh, to summarise the meal, it's not as good as I'd hoped. Uh, last time we were here, they had some really nice food. Um, the wife was happy with her bulalo soup. I like the bulalo. The shrimps? Oh, okay. Not the fish. The fish no good? The fish is like a taste of meat. Okay, the fish had some weird taste to it. I don't know. The shrimp she had, she liked that. That was I okay. Like um, my calamari was really nice. Then I ordered the nachos, and that was Where you put that, that was disappointing. Uh, the sauce looked like it was just squeezed out of one of those tubes you get at the supermarket. It was cold. Mm -hmm. The beef was cold. And the salsa, the chili salsa sauce was just finely chopped tomato with finely chopped onions. So, yeah, not happy with that one. And the baby back ribs, eh, if I was to give the, if I was to score the calamari, that would probably be about an eight, eight and a half. The nachos, that would have been probably about a, a three. A two's inedible for me, three's just just the pass um, and the baby back ribs probably give that about a six um, so they looks like they've dropped the ball in my opinion compared to last time so on an average I'd probably give them probably a five five out of ten for the whole meal for myself and what would you give baby for the whole meal well, all three of them what did you give the shrimp a nine. A nine. Okay. Shrimp gets a nine out of ten. A bulalo for me. It was a ten. The bulalo for my wife. She gives that it's a ten. Really nice. Ten out of ten. She enjoyed that. And the fish. Nah. Uh, <laughs> gives the fish about a three. Just Born like just like me. Funny. Like a two's inedible. A one's more or less just don't even touch it. So she goes out a three. Um. So yeah, very disappointed in the char char race grill. Uh, looks like they've dropped their game dramatically since the last time we were here. Um, I saw a couple of other customers. They weren't they weren't happy with their meals. They kept passing plates back, saying there's there's no sauce. It's cold. It's not cooked. It's it's yeah. So I got a, looked like they got quite a few complaints from the other customers. So, uh, in my opinion, this one I'll probably give it a pass. Um, the other restaurant we went to the other night, which was down along the beach, that probably has been the best place we've we've eaten since we've been here, here in El Nido. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. I've forgotten the name because it's like a three had three three words to it for the for the name of that restaurant so okay to close out uh, didn't do much today went to Nakpan flew the drone um, sunset wasn't really anything to ride home about dinner yeah disappointed in that I was the wife sort of liked a um, bulalo soup the shrimp and that so yeah what can I say you win some you lose some so to end this vlog on a positive note we're going on another tour tomorrow i think it's tour d tour b we're doing tour b tomorrow so hopefully that turns out to be a great day there is some wind blowing out tonight like i don't know bit strongest wind i've ever seen since we've been here for the last three four weeks in the philippines so this could be maybe a typhoon or some low tropical depression coming through or coming past the area we're not sure i need to check the um the weather app to see what's what's happening but um thanks for joining us on today's journey 
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button there in the corner. If you are already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you're notified each time I upload a new video. So to end this, I say goodbye and I say hello tomorrow in the morning. So thanks for watching guys. Peace out.